Yeah, obviously we fell behind early and that allowed them to control most of the game after that. I thought our guys played really well and, you know, McCoy, Pitzer, Becker, we did a really good job. Uh, again, we just fell behind early and made it hard on us, but guys kept playing hard, had good approaches, and so just got to gotta flush it. Sorry, Andre. You mentioned the control tonight. They've been in control of both of these games so far this series. Are you surprised at the way your team's played in, in such a critical series? I mean, we know they were really good coming in, and I think we're really good too. This last two days doesn't change that. Uh, I mean, we've scored 15 runs the last two days too. That's that's not a, a an offense that's not playing pretty well right now, but we got to pitch better. That's, that's obvious, and it's a good offense, and we've got to figure out just got to figure out why are they on every pitch we're throwing. Okay. Besides the fact that Georgia, like you said, is on every pitch they're throwing, or you guys are throwing, what do you feel like is the main issue right now with the starting pitching? Because, I mean, it's the second night in a row where the starting pitching just, you know, hasn't been able to really, you know, execute, I guess. Yeah, I mean, look, you just – Eli's got to be better. He has been better in the past, and – we need him to be better. We need him to figure out. And he's, again, nobody works harder than Eli. Nobody wants it more than Eli. Uh, but he's just hes just not as good right now as he was earlier in the season. And, and we need him to be. So we have his back. Uh, we'll continue to, to give him opportunities. Um, but we need, we need better than Eli. He knows that. We know that. And, and we have his back through that. Um, but we need more production there. With Eli, I know we've asked you this before, and the answer was no. But the, his moving him off of the opening game had an effect on him mentally, physically. Any, any anything to that? No, no, no. Uh, we'll tip it back for the first time in almost a month tonight. Do you see a possible lineup shakeup tomorrow after he hit the homer, or what do you kind of see from Tippett? Well, I wouldn't call it a lineup shakeup. Again, this this. Team we're we're rolling out there right now is averaging ten runs a game for the last three weeks. So, a shakeup would imply that we're going to move two or three guys. Um, does Will Tippett deserve to play? Um, he played pretty well tonight. I'll leave it at that. Okay. Got two for you, Mark. With Pitzer, uh, just first off, what did you think of the job he did tonight? And then you pulled him with thirty six pitches. I know he's gone more pitches in the past and stuff. What was kind of the thought process behind taking him out there and going with Becker? Yeah, he was he was at the end. I mean, Matt Williams does a really nice job of knowing where guys are in terms of how many pitches they've thrown and, and to the naked eye, does it look like they're running out of gas? And Matt generally has a really good feel for that. And he just felt like at that point uh, he had thrown enough. And then with Eli, I mean, you said he just needs to be better and stuff. But what are you seeing over the last few weeks that has kind of led to his struggles? Because, I mean, it's kind of been like this for a few weeks now where he hasn't just been himself out there. Yeah, I mean, the stuff's just not as, as good as it was early in the season. It's just not. And um, we've got to find a way to get it to where it was early in the season because it's, it's just not there right now. Uh, I would imagine you'd want to talk to Matt before naming a starter for tomorrow. Is that right? Correct. Uh, is is Dylan available? I, I know you mentioned yeah. that he's had a little elbow thing, or, or not elbow yeah. thing, but a little arm thing. Yeah, he was stiff last week, which is why he had to come out of the game pretty quickly last week. Uh, but he is available. Obviously, Ganey's available, has not thrown a pitch yet, and, and we stretched him out last week. So we've got some good options for tomorrow. Does that keep feeling better? Yeah. Helpful? Yes. Obviously, you know Charlie Condon's the I guess the headliner for this Georgia team, but they're all hitting really well right now. Um, what makes the team like that so difficult to pitch against, especially when you start getting down four or five runs? Well, they're big, they're strong, they're experienced. They've got five or six guys in the lineup that came into the weekend with double-digit homers. So it, this isn't some new phenomenon that they're scoring runs. They've scored runs all year. So you just have to find a way to minimize it and uh, make sure you're. You're on everything that you can be doing possibly to keep them off balance. Coach, in what ways are you looking for your guys to respond tomorrow, not only just pitching better, but in all facets? Well, I mean, this team will bounce back. It always does. Um, that's why we're in such a good position from an RPI standpoint, because we always flush whatever happened today and, and come out ready to play, especially in game threes all year. So I expect nothing different tomorrow. We've got good leadership. The guys will be, be ready to go. Thank you.